<laughs> it's so funny that we're just watching them and like figure it out. I know. <laughs> I know. I the same screen. Like, I feel like I'm his phone right now. <laughs> So welcome everyone again. This is the the second one, but this may actually be the first one, just to make things confusing. Um, because the, <laughs> the first one was a bit of a practice just to see how we could do it, uh, and it worked pretty well, I would say. Um, yeah, I say it worked well too. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's like the first proper one, which is the second one. So it's really just a wee chat about um, how we're all doing, what the kind of situation is with coronavirus and how we're dealing with it and how we're adapting to it and looking ahead into the future to see you know what's going to be different in the future because of this how things might yeah. change uh, and how we might change um, i think we we talked about similar last week we talked about this kind of similar topic last week that's right yeah so just to formally kick this off as the, the chat um, just give me a wee update on how how you've all been, how you're doing. Cameron, you tell me first. Um, I've been all right, really. I've been taking my one-a-day exercises, um, walking the dog with my dad, and doing, listening to my music as usual, really. You know? so, walking your dad. That's good. <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> good. Excellent. Rebecca, what about you? Um, I've just been doing the same, really, just been going out running still, doing a running challenge with my team, so it's definitely keeping me motivated to keep going out and doing something active. <laughs> but um, I just, that, watching shows, finishing up uni stuff and that, but uh, it's starting to take a toll now. It's kind of like getting a bit like, right, come on, like, I'm bored now, like, can we get past this now? <laughs> I was seeing totally more than Rebecca. Yeah, I can't believe it's actually into the fourth week of lockdown. In a weird way, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Yeah, I know. Like, at first, I was like, oh, it's, it's not that bad. Like, it's, I can get through it? this. But now I'm like, oh, my gosh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I finished a jigsaw, actually. That was, that was the proudest <laughs> moment of my life. It's I'm not going to lie. <laughs> my mum often does jigsaws. She's always buying them in the charity shops. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one I've had for, like, absolute years, and that's the first time I've ever finished it, and I was proper buzzing. I'll need to take a picture and show you it. Yeah, take a picture. Oh, what, yeah. What was yeah. It? <laughs> it was like a, it was a thousand piece like Simpsons one, right? But each piece has like a like a wee different episode, so you have to like so it make, it's like smaller pictures to make a big picture, and oh, so you try to piece them together. I was actually losing the will. <laughs> That's good, Maggie. What about you? What have you been up to? Um, I work every day almost because we need more people to work. Because right. even if the, yeah, even if the even if it's locked down, people still come in because they need bread or milk or stuff like that. So most days I'm working and after work, I'll probably do like some exercise or walk and that's it pretty much. Yeah. But is it you're working, is it Tesco's? Yeah. Yeah, Tesco's, I so you'll be busier? Yeah. <laughs> <That's not laughs> we shouldn't be, but we are, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? With all the, yeah. the queuing and people buying up stuff. I yeah. know. Some come in for like crunch cards because that stuff are not essential or maybe they come in for beers or wines and they shouldn't be but it's okay. Yeah because they've closed up the pubs so how else can they have a drink <laughs> in the house? <laughs> and Robert you're obviously still working huh? Yeah, I, yeah I've been working uh, reading a lot. Yeah. Did a wee bit of writing in that, yeah, so I keep myself busy. Started exercising. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Has your yeah, work good. been quite busy? Yeah, it has been. I, uh, I've been all right though. Uh, I'm walking with me today, but it's uh, half a shift. I'm talking six hours, uh, like each day. So, aye, uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I'll say I've been hitting heavy bag again. That's been quite fun. Uh, so one form of exercise I actually enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And Andrew, what about yourself? Uh, uh, pretty bored, to be honest. Try to stay productive with uni work. Uh, watching a lot of movies and stuff. Uh, 
told myself I'm going to start trying to write some stuff, probably some short films or something, once I get my uni stuff out of the way, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get the uni stuff done first, so that's a priority. Yeah. Yeah. I know everyone's different, but I definitely find that it's always been a, a difficult thing for me to actually try and like, be creative and do creative stuff, no matter if you've got the time to do it. Like, it's just a bit yeah. kind of daunting. Uh, so oh, it's something you or worse. Um, well, I'm trying to force myself into it with this lockdown, trying to get that yeah. first kind of stuff out of the way, get it done, and then hopefully start doing some good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Aiden, what about yourself? Have you been keeping busy? Um, I've been doing all right. Um, I've been going out every couple of days or so. Uh, I've probably got more, but the, the sun's starting to come out now. Uh, watched a couple of films. I've actually been learning how to create Wikipedia pages, <laughs> which I thought okay. would be quite difficult, but I'm slowly getting the hang of it. Wow, that's interesting. That's really cool. It's a, a good thing, Wikipedia. I'm, all, I'm a big advocate for it. I think it's just a, a great resource. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's, it's a good source. In some other cases, it's, never, it's not reliable. It depends. If Aidan's learned to create Wikipedia pages for bad reasons, then <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it's good. Okay, so um, we'll maybe just touch again on what we talked about last time, but each one of you we can come to and see what you think maybe going to be the biggest change um, for yourselves, maybe personally, or what's going to be the, the closest to home change for yourselves out of this you know, crisis. Um, so Maggie, we can maybe start with yourself. What what do you think out of this, you know, the coronavirus, after it's all said and done with, what do you think is going to be the biggest change? I think the biggest change for me will be just living more because usually I'll just decide to stay in and undo stuff and cancel plans and everything. I'll just try and maybe change that do more outdoor stuff because I would rather stay in and do puzzles, scrabble, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be the biggest change for me. Yeah. You guys think you'll find that as well? Definitely. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Try and yeah. a bit more. <laughs> I'd say, yeah. The ability to go outside a bit more. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I think it's something that's going to be a big one, isn't it? There's a lot of people who are probably just like outdoorsy and very outgoing anyway that are really struggling with this lockdown. But I think everyone, you know, has that sense of that if you can't do it, that's when you want to do something. Yeah, that's really it's just appreciating what you have. When someone takes something away from you, you're all of a sudden like, Oh no, I want to do it. See if you've got it, you don't want to do it. You've got it now. And you're like, Yeah. Even the most introverted people are getting fed up with this, I think now. Yeah. 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 Just to go out and socialise. Mm-hmm. Oh. So what about you, Andrew? I think something similar. Yeah, I'd say that I would. Uh, once this is all done, I'd start kind of utilising the ability to go outside and the, like not just spend all day inside, just wasting the wasting time, wasting a day. You know, appreciate it a bit more. Just go outside, be my pals, go for runs, go outside twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Novelty. laughs> Imagine. I think with the weather as well being so nice. Um, I mean, it, it's nice anyway, you know, and it's nice to have that, like definitely, after the horrible winter we had of constant rain and cold. Storm, so yeah. yeah I, know. I know, I just found it so typical that my season was literally, every game we had played, it was like absolute gales of wind, like every storm we could possibly be playing and we played. And all of a sudden it's sunshine, sunshine and daisies now. It's like, why? Is we, why? Yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw this post on Facebook where Scotland in the winter, spring, summer, it rains, but in the lockdown, sunshine. Yeah, it's so <laughs> typical. That's what yeah. it's isn't it? Yeah. What about yourself, Robert? What do you think is the biggest change that's going to come out of this? Well, for myself? Yeah, for yourself. Uh, pretty much the same. Uh, I, I stay in the house quite a lot, so uh, 
I uh, like I've, I've realised uh, how how much uh, how much we don't play as adults. You know what I mean? Like uh, me and my mate, I've been talking about it, uh, and I we want to organise a big game around those, but adults only. Yeah. You know what I mean? uh, I just get people idea. excited and join them there again. Yeah. Instead of like being so stressed out and pressured by work and the yeah, you know I mean the, Andrew was talking about the pressure uh, uh, creative thing, like in fact be creative. Uh, I think it's because we're approaching it, right? You know I mean, we are kind of try to uh, uh, like approach it as an intellectual thing. We really uh, we need to kind of shut the shut the kind of analytical part of the brain down and, and engage the uh, either kind of perceptual, yeah, or perceptual mm. uh, side of the brain again. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, because that's what I get. Like I've always had that. See, with, like drawing and painting or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that's mm-hmm. exactly what it is. Exactly what you're saying because. I do like half a drone or half a paint, whatever, and I'm like kind of surprised and like pleased with myself. This looks actually all right. And then the kind of brain thing comes in and the fear comes in of like, oh God. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I did that like thing, unconsciously, yeah. but now I'm conscious it's good and I don't want to m- mess up. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think that's definitely for me what it is. It's like just shutting the brain down and letting the kind of, you know, creativity mm-hmm. happen. Yeah. I play again, learn to play again. And just, aye. I mean, because Wayne doesn't have that problem. Or Wayne will just uh, make whatever marks it does and whatever comes at the other end. I mean, uh, that's what it is. Yeah, that's a good take on it. I like it. Uh, Cameron, we've not heard from you. What do you think is going to be the biggest change for yourself? I have to say, like, pretty much the same as everybody else, you know? Like, I probably, like, go out more, you know, and enjoy going out more, you know? I have to probably have to say the same as everyone else. Well, that's definitely a big one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And Aidan, what about yourself? Um, I'll probably just not be as indecisive about doing stuff because sometimes my brother may say, "Oh, we've got to the party, I come," and I'll be like, yeah, "Maybe," but I think no, I'll just <laughs> like accept every time. Yeah, because we we just kind of take this stuff for granted, and then. Mm-hmm. Like Thanos with a finger snap, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. 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 So quick, isn't it? You know? Mm-hmm. Like we're we're getting our, our full for the year of being in the house and staying in. We've had enough of it by the end of this, so it's not just like appreciating it more, but it's just being desperate to get out and do stuff. We'll make the most of it now that it's all done. And seeing your pals as well. Exactly. Yeah. Missing the police. Yeah, well, I like getting my rounds. Is there all invited if he's going to come? I'm down. I'm going to class. I've not played That'd be really good. Massive mm. game of rounders. Uh, the biggest. <laughs> I think I did rounders in the school years ago. Yeah. What? <laughs> Sport of kick. That's the thing. Yeah. So Rebecca, I've asked you. I can't remember. I lost track. No. Is that right? <laughs> I think the only thing I would really change is that see because I have been going out more running usually when I, I usually like obviously I have football so I only do really training football and then I'll go to the gym but because I was a bit more cautious of going out running cause just because bumping into folk I'm just like oh I can't be bothered so I think now I actually do want to like go out and like just meet more folk now that's what I kind of want to do that's why I talk yeah. to other people <laughs> That's yeah. Even in all this, I've been using uh, like an exercise bike to get my exercise. I still haven't been going out doing running. Well, so. oh, it's really good. See, after this, <laughs> it feels amazing. Well, in the sun, I've actually moved the exercise bike outside so that I'm still oh, getting yeah. that's a, that's <laughs> exercise. <laughs> well, it's been quite good, obviously, from you having Ralph. Um, that's yeah. like my exercise. And I'm, I've actually really enjoyed that because I've been taking him walks like loads of different places where I never really kind of went before. Where I live, there's quite a lot of walks anyway, but um, they're quite busy, you know, with folk, because everyone's going out walking type thing. Mm-hmm. So it's made me, like, try and explore different paths. So, um, and the golf courses nearby actually as well. So that's really good because there's no golf on. You basically get, like, uh, free rain, you know. Um, and there's other people on the golf course, but it's such a wide space. Um, you don't really need to worry about it too much. So that's been really nice. Um, so that's I know, it's crazy when you just go walks and then you find something. Because like me and my dad walked the dogs and then there's this bit in Kauai and I was like, I didn't even know this was here. 
And because I, I hate having the dogs in the lead. I just feel like they should just run and be free, right? But so it was a nice thing back for like not many people would go to, but it's nice to go and find a new place you've not seen before. Yeah. I know, definitely. Go and have a good rubbing in the really... fact that they have dogs during this lockdown. That's fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> jealous. Very jealous. I've got four. You can have one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> it's been so... Uh, I took him a walk this morning and that's... The thing that kind of hits me is it's actually really quiet. I think the winds died down a wee bit as well. Mm-hmm. And just, like, no car... No sound of cars going about and everything. It's really nice and peaceful, so I, I think for me, I'll, I'll kind of learn to appreciate that a wee bit more, you know. Hi. And last night when I was having dinner with my, my parents, my mum noticed how, how quiet it was from where we from where we live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you just it's, it's stuff you don't even realise, I suppose, because we live near the kind of bypass in Kilmarnock, and you know, there's this a constant just hum of traffic, you know, going past. That's kind of really gone now, you know. Um, yeah, and you start to hear the kind of birds more and other yeah. things more. It's really nice, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of weird though. You kind of stop for a minute and you're like, "Why can't I know hearing that?" It's like kind of it's weird. <laughs> it is. It's definitely weird because you think almost there's something not right, but you think, "Oh, it's just really yeah. calm and peaceful." Peaceful. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And who knows? I mean, I don't know whether ultimately it will can be like that more longer term. Uh, mm-hmm. I suppose we just don't know. Um, but I've got an alert here from Zoom to say oh. there is a limit on this meeting of 40 minutes. So oh. we have literally three minutes remaining. Right? <laughs> what happened last time though and it just came up saying... Yeah, last time it came up and day said, day. don't worry about it, like this one's unlimited. Um, but maybe I it's not a one-off. I even was saying that it was it was unlimited last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said that on the app. Did that my uni cards last night? They just changed automatically, so I don't know. Did it? Did it just keep going. It just kept going, but now it came up with like we had a mind us in remaining time. I don't know. Forty one. Weird. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, I thought maybe we'll just very quickly round it up though, just in case it does cut us off. Um, so for next time Aidan do you have the list of questions there uh, I've got them here I I just copied them because I'd yeah. sent them to Mark so I just copied and pasted them oh great just, can you run us through them just really quickly and then we can pick one to have a wee think about for next time we can have a chat um, about number two will our culture have to change number three has your attitude towards society and politics changed Number four is, are you now discovering how to put things into perspective? Number five, what changes have you made since the lockdown? So we've kind of covered that. Yeah. Uh, Would you have found, what have you found out about yourself during this time? What do you miss most of all? (laughs) Are you sticking to the rules around social distancing and staying indoors? Has this changed your mind around what careers you want to do after lockdown? And what three things will you do in the first few days after all restrictions are lifted? Cool. So there's a bit of choice there. Is there anything that particularly sticks out for you guys? Oh, that's a difficult one. What will you do? What's the first thing you'll do? Yeah, that one's quite good. Puts Mm -hmm. a bit in perspective of what we're all thinking about, what we all want to do yeah. now that we've got all this. Great. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the one we'll do then. So the next time we have a chat, we'll be talking about what's the first thing you want to do once this lockdown is over. Okay, so you yeah. can all have we think about that. Okay. It's come up saying less than a minute. The, it was literally giving me a countdown of like three minutes, <laughs> 12 seconds. And now it just says less than a minute, so I have no idea. At the point when you need to count down the most, it vanishes. <laughs> exactly. What's the point? Give me that. <laughs> Just literally the words less than a minute. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll, that'll probably do us anyway. Okay. So, uh, okay. is there anything else you just want to add just before we finish the game?